it's Vern from VFCR Archery. So today I've got with me a new bow that I've just been making. It is an ash bow. It's sinew backed. It's 43 inches long. Shoots about a 410 grain arrow, about 160 feet per second. I named it Petua. Hopefully you can see that. I'll take a couple shots with it. It's a good bow for snap shooting just because it's short, it's flexible, um, and it's a bend in the handle. So I'm shooting about almost a 400 grain arrow here. I usually just uh, snap shoot it slowly and let it go right when it gets to my mouth. So I'm drawing about 26 inches to the belly of the bow. Not bad for a 43 inch in length bow. Um, I'm going to shoot for the torso area. I gotta try to keep the shots down because this bow, this ash sinew backed bow, tends to uh, shoot the arrow, kind of flings it a little bit higher. It's got a lot of power, I guess, in spring when it lets go of it. So you kind of have to accommodate for that in your shot. So. Looks like the shoulder. I just caught his shoulder there. Straight on. I'm 13 meters away, 13 yards roughly away. Just over his shoulder. It's about a 400 grain arrow. That's the shot I was looking for. Last shot. So, there we go. Okay, I'm 13 yards away, and the camera is lower than the target that I'm shooting at. So, um, look, I'm going to see what it, uh, you might feel something in the camera when it hits the target, but it's Let me just show you where those shots landed on Fred. Okay, so the last couple things I wanted to show you um, with this bow is some of the wood burning that I've done. I put an eagle on the one tip and on the other it is a bear's claw. So you can also see, I'll just show you here, that there is some setback in the handle even though it's just been unstrung and then the limb tips will rise up slightly. It's 43 inches long. Um, somewhat like a, uh, a, a bow the Blackfoot would have made when they didn't have osage or access to yew wood. Um, they send you back these to make them short. This is about five inches shorter than your typical Blackfoot bow as demonstrated in some books on Native Indian bows. So Vern from VFC Archery and thanks for watching.